my friends and my teacher. Let's meet Rohan's friends from school and his teacher. Rohan is friends with all his classmates and has given them funny nicknames. This is Active Ali. This is Perfect Peter. Here's Brainy Bina. And she is Moody Mina. He is Foodie Frank. And this is Restless Ronnie. This is their teacher, Miss Mary. Rohan has lots of fun studying and playing in school. Taste When we eat or lick something, it gives us a taste. Let's look at the different tastes and some of the things that give those tastes. Tamarind, raw mango and lemon taste sour. Candies, cake, honey and other sweets taste sweet. Neem leaves, bitter gourd and some tablets and medicines taste bitter. Butter, salt, fries, chips and popcorn taste salty. A dentist visited Rohan's school and taught them different ways to protect their teeth. This is what he told them. Brush your teeth twice every day. Do not have too many chocolates or candies as they can spoil your teeth. Eating too much sugar Sweets and salty food is also not good. Touch When you touch something, you can feel its texture. An object can have either rough or smooth texture. Like rock, brick and tree trunk have a rough texture. TV screens, satin cloth and marbles have a smooth texture. You can also tell whether the object is hard or soft when you touch it. Wood, cricket bat and coconuts are hard objects. Soft toy, ball of wool Pillow and cake are soft objects. You can also feel the temperature or tell whether an object is hot or cold by touching it. Fire is hot. Soup and tea are hot drinks. The iron gets hot when it is switched on. Ice cubes, snow, cold drink and ice cream are cold. Actions We use different parts of our body to carry out a variety of actions. Now, let's learn some action words. Drop Pick Kick Throw Catch, ride, read, write, paint, dance, sing, jump, fall, tell, listen, cry, laugh, Feed, eat, smile, blow, wave, share, pray. Cleanliness at home. We must keep our homes clean. Let's take a look at some of the things we can do to keep our homes clean. 
always tidy up after you finish playing or studying. Sweep and mop the floor every day. Do not scribble on the walls. Always flush the toilet after use. Dust and clean cobwebs regularly. Use a vacuum cleaner to clean sofas and carpets. Always remember, cleanliness leads to good health. A germ-free and bug-free house means less illness. Cleanliness at school. We should keep our school clean. Let's take a look at some of the things we can do to keep our school clean. Keep the floor clean. Put pencil shavings in the waste paper basket only. Do not spill water or drop food in the classroom. Put a table mat beneath your lunch box. Do not throw wrappers in the class or on the ground. Do not spit. Keep your water bottles in the proper place. Living Things All living things grow. A seed grows into a sapling, then a plant, and finally into a tree. Insects such as butterflies lay eggs. The egg hatches and a caterpillar comes out of it. This caterpillar later becomes a pupa and finally turns into a butterfly. Birds such as hens also lay eggs. The egg hatches into a chick that slowly grows into a hen. Tigers give birth to cubs. A tiger cub grows into a baby tiger and finally becomes an adult tiger. Human beings give birth to babies. A baby grows into a child and finally into an adult. Now, in order to grow, all living things must eat. Let's take a look at what some living things like to eat. A monkey likes to eat bananas. An elephant is fond of eating sugarcane. A rabbit eats carrots. While parrot likes to eat chilies. A squirrel likes to eat acorns. A giraffe eats leaves from trees. A cow grazes on grass. A bear likes to eat fish, while a hen eats grains. Non-living things Non-living things do not grow. Let's look at a few non-living things around us. Chair Pen Blackboard Crayons, door, pencil box, ball, bag, books, lunch box, water bottle, garden. Rohan and his friends have come to a garden with Miss Mary. She is helping them with gardening. 
let's look at some of the tools and things used in a garden trowel watering can hose spade rake shears wheelbarrow plants let's learn more about plants plants need plenty of sunlight and water to grow a seed is sown into the soil this grows into a sapling which then grows into a plant a plant has many parts like roots stem leaf flowers shrubs creepers herbs climbers and trees are some of the different types of plants trees trees are very useful to us let's look at some uses of trees trees give us fruits they also give us shade wood obtained from trees is used for making houses furniture and paper trees give us fresh air and oxygen to breathe the leaves and other parts of trees are used to make medicines trees give shelter to many birds and animals we should save paper to save trees do not waste it we should not cut trees instead plant more trees healthy food foodie frank buys lots of fries then his tummy aches and there he cries burger and chips make him fat he holds his tummy when he's ready to bat pizza and cold drink make him glad but look at his teeth stinky and black oh dear what a lad but you be careful and listen to your dad for a healthy body and mind you must eat an adequate amount of fruits vegetables pulses cereals and drink milk every day let's look at the benefits of eating some food items carrots give us vitamin a which is good for our eyes milk and yogurt gives us calcium which is good for our teeth and bones fruits like oranges and amla give us vitamin c which is also good for our teeth and bones it also helps in healing wounds fish meat eggs cheese pulses and milk give us proteins that build and repair our muscles and bones they also provide energy to our body apples bananas and green leafy vegetables contain iron which is good for the muscles feelings and expressions we all have feelings our expressions can be seen on our face 
and show what we are feeling. Some of the feelings are happy, sad, excited, angry, selfish, generous, jealous, surprised, frightened. You must remain happy to remain healthy. You must share your things with your friends and not be selfish. Animals Some animals live both on land and water. Let's take a look at some of these animals. Tortoise Walrus Duck Frog Crocodile Crab Seal Otter Platypus A tortoise lives on land but a turtle lives in water. A turtle lays its eggs on land. Crocodiles too lay their eggs on land. Visit to a pet shop Rohan and his friends went with Miss Mary to visit a pet shop where they played with many pet animals. Let us see what they learnt. We must be kind to animals. We must not tease them. As we get treated by a doctor, animals too need a doctor. He is called a vet. We must always love and take care of animals. Some more games and exercises. Games are a must for a healthy body along with healthy food. Let's look at some games and sports that keep our body healthy and fit. Hide and seek Coco Langri Tang Running Skipping Skating Cycling Swimming Yoga is a good exercise for a healthy body. Shopping Mall Rohan and his friends are at a shopping mall with their families. A shopping mall is a place where there are a lot of shops selling different things. Malls also have a food court where we can eat. Some malls have a children's play area too. When we visit a shopping mall, we must always stay with elders. We should not go anywhere without informing them. Swimming Pool Rohan and his family are at the swimming pool. A swimming pool is a place where one can swim. While learning to swim, we should always use armbands or tubes as per the coach's instructions. A coach is like a teacher in the pool. He teaches us how to swim. So, 
always follow what he says. Always listen to the coach and adults. Stay close to them. Do not jump into the water without informing them. Traffic signs and safety rules Traffic signs and rules are made for our safety. We must follow them for our own as well as others' safety. Let's look at some safety signs and rules. On a traffic signal, the red light means stop and the green light means go. You should always cross at the zebra crossing or crossover bridge. Always wait for the signal to turn green for pedestrians before crossing. You should look both left and right before crossing. Never run or play on the road. Capital letter P stands for parking zone. We should always park at the parking zone. Heavy vehicles on land. A tractor is a heavy land vehicle used on farms. The tractor on the farm picks up the hay. It ploughs the field throughout the day. It keeps going, be it December or May. It is really tough and strong. That is all we have to say. Let's take a look at some heavy land vehicles. They are mostly used to do various kinds of work. The crane is used to lift and move heavy loads from one place to another. A dumper is used in building construction sites to carry heavy materials. A road roller is used to flatten materials like stones cement, asphalt before the construction of roads and foundations. A bulldozer pushes large and heavy quantities of sand, rocks and other materials out of the way with the help of a clawer. The cement mixer is used to mix cement with water, sand and other important materials to form concrete. A tank is a large fighting vehicle used in the army during wars. An oil tanker is used to transport large quantities of oil. The container truck is used to transport heavy cargo. Do you know which heavy land vehicle makes this sound? Chuk 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 is the sound it makes. The train keeps moving till the driver puts the brakes. Sometimes fast, sometimes slow, sometimes quiet, sometimes a loud whistle it blows through the tunnels and over the river that flows, through the villages where children say hello, near the roads and in the town, comes with a smile and never a frown. Whether it's sunny or there's a rain, chuk chuk chuk, there goes the train. Tools and Machines if you can use a tool, you'd never be called a fool. But there's only one rule. While using it, one has to be very careful. Tools and machines make our life simpler and help us work faster. 
Some of the tools are screwdriver, hammer, plier, axe, spanner, drill, spade, saw, wheelbarrow, scissors, paper cutter. Now let us look at some of the machines. Vacuum cleaner, iron, camera, sewing machine, washing machine, mobile phone, DVD player, TV, telephone, laptop, desktop, computer, printer, colors. We all love colors. Do you know that there are different types of colors? They are primary colors and secondary colors. Let us look at the first type that is the primary colors. Primary colors cannot be made by mixing other colors. These are red, yellow and blue. Next are the secondary colors. They are made by mixing two primary colors. Red and yellow colors mix together to give orange color. Blue and yellow colors when mixed together give green color. And when red and blue colors mix together they give violet color. National festivals Republic Day and Independence Day are our national festivals. Republic Day is celebrated on the 26th of January and Independence Day is celebrated on the 15th of August. In our school, we celebrate these days by hoisting the national flag. Then, all the students stand in attention and sing the national anthem Jana Gana Mana together. We must always respect our national flag. In some schools, cultural programs are held on these days. Teacher's Day Rohan's school is celebrating Teacher's Day. This is Dr. S. Radhakrishnan, the first Vice President of India. He was a good teacher. Hence, to honor him, his birthday, 5th of September, is celebrated as Teacher's Day all over India. On this day, children give flowers and greeting cards to their teachers to show their love and respect. You should respect your teachers by listening to them and obeying them. Children's Day Do you know why we celebrate Children's Day? Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, the first Prime Minister of India, loved children very much. His birthday, 14th November, is celebrated as Children's Day every year. Children called him Chacha Nehru with love. He used to wear a rose on his coat.
Children's Day celebrations are held in schools all over India on this day. Months of the year There are 12 months in a year. Let's look at the names of the months. January February March April May June July August September October November and the last month is December. Let us look at some of the festivals and the months in which they are celebrated. The festival of Holi is celebrated in March. We celebrate Raksha Bandhan in August. The festival of Ganesh Chaturthi is celebrated in the month of August or September. The festival of Navratri falls in the month of September or October. Diwali is celebrated in the month of October or November. Christmas is celebrated in December. Musical instruments we can create pleasant tunes using musical instruments. Let's take a look at some musical instruments. Guitar Drum Piano Mouth organ Tambourine Trumpet Flute Tabla, Violin, Harmonium, Triangle Bell, Sitar, Cymbals and Xylophone. Some instruments like Sitar, Violin and Guitar have strings to play. Some like Piano and harmonium have keys which we must press to play music. Some musical instruments like flute, trumpet and mouth organ are played by blowing air into them. Places of Worship We must visit the places of worship to pray and pay our respects to God. People belonging to different religions go to different places of worship. Let's take a look at some places of worship. Church Mosque Temple Gurudwara Agyari Synagogue all religions preach love, peace and brotherhood. We must respect all religions. Space Rita is having an interesting discussion with her teacher. Let's listen. Miss, the moon is so far away. How can we go to the moon? My dear, to go to the moon, astronauts use space shuttles. Man has launched satellites into space using rockets. Because of these satellites, we can watch television, listen to the radio and talk to our distant friends and relatives on the mobile phone. That's amazing! 
solar system the sun moon and the eight planets form the solar system the sun is at the center of the solar system all the planets revolve around the sun the eight planets are mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus neptune we all live on planet earth our planet earth is the third planet in the solar system our planet earth goes around the sun our planet earth goes round the sun all year long the moon goes around the earth all year long when the earth spins it makes day and night day and night for you and me nature mountains rivers and the sea trees flowers birds and bee they are all there for you and for me so don't spoil them and just let them be let's look at the beauty of nature the sun moon and stars rain waterfall river lake sea jungle desert volcano sun rohit planted two saplings in two different pots he placed one pot in the sunlight and the other in a dark room without any sunlight he watered both the plants every day the plant that was kept in the dark room did not grow properly why a plant needs plenty of sunlight along with water and air to grow strong the sun is very useful for all living things it gives us light it helps our body make vitamin d it helps plants grow it dries our clothes and kills germs and bacteria air air is everywhere we cannot see it but we can feel it we cannot live without air we need air to breathe all living things including plants need air to live we also need air to dry our clothes to fly kites to blow balloons to fill inside a tire to run the windmill and wind turbines in the olden days windmills were used to grind grains nowadays wind turbines are used to generate electricity let us do an activity to feel the air blow air into a balloon then loosen your hold on its mouth a little and feel the air come out of it sources of water we get water from various sources they are sea rain lake 
waterfall, river, tap, tube well, hand pump, well. Uses of water Today, let us learn about the uses of water. What do we use water for? We drink water when we are thirsty. We use water to bathe and clean ourselves. We use water to wash our clothes and for cooking. Plants need water to grow. Boats and ships move on the water in seas and oceans. So, water is precious and important for life. Always remember to turn off the tap when you're not using it. We must not waste water. Every drop is precious. There is plenty of water available in the sea, but it is too salty to drink. There is very little drinking water on the earth. So save water and use it carefully. Do not waste it. Pollution Pollution spoils our natural resources and makes them unfit and unsafe. Let's take a look at some of the causes of pollution. More vehicles moving on the road. They pollute the air with the gases they give out. Use of plastic bags. Trees being cut. Throwing sewage in water bodies. Factories giving out smoke. Let us now look at the ill effects of pollution. Pollution causes us to fall sick. It also affects animals and birds as they drink the polluted water or eat the plastic bags thrown in the trash. Pollution can be stopped or reduced by Using cloth bags instead of plastic bags. Using cycle to go to places instead of using petrol vehicles. Throwing garbage only in the garbage bins. Making more use of public means of transport. Planting more trees as they give us fresh air. Making less use of crackers and fireworks as they cause noise pollution as well as air pollution. By following these simple steps, our country and planet Earth will become cleaner and therefore more beautiful.